So um, what I'm not going to tell you tonight about is how to live longer, but I am going to tell you how to make it seem as though you can, you've lived longer. And, and that is by seeking novelty. So what I'd like, actually what I'd like you to do is anybody here who's wearing a wrist, who's wearing a wrist watch, I'd like you to take your watch off and put it on the other hand. Yes. <laughs> Now, this sounds stupid, but in fact, what happens is we automatize most of our lives. I mean, almost everything we do, we're, we're training ourselves to become really automatic about things. And the problem with that is that time disappears because, you know, you, you just you look at your watch, see what time it is. It's, it's a totally natural thing. It's like when you're driving home, um, fr- you know, the first time you drive to your work and back, the very first time you do it, it seems like it takes a really long time. But after that, it starts becoming really automatic because you've automatized it. Time shrinks to zero. I mean, you've all had this experience, right? The first time you drive there, you think, wow, this is far, and after a while, it takes nothing. Okay, what I'd like you to do is drive a different route home tonight. Make sure that you go a different route home and try to do this every day. I try to do this every single day. Just take a different route over to work so that I can get some of my life back so that I'm not an automated robot. Um, Go home tonight and rearrange your office. Whatever's going on with your office, just rearrange it so you can see things differently. And, you know, of course, coming to things like Long Now Foundation events uh, allows you to inject novelty in your life, and so things seem to last longer. And when you look back at the end of today, it'll seem like, uh, you know, a richer than normal Tuesday, and you'll have lived a little bit longer. So the more novelty you seek, the better off you'll be there. 